Hey everybody, it's Kyle here with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today, well today's video is inspired by a conversation I had last night, but by the time this gets posted, about four or five days. Um, I was talking with my friend who also has a disability, he's not cerebral palsy. Um, but he, we were talking and he was talking to me about what he thought I could handle. Uh, and that didn't really sit well with me at first, because who is to tell anyone what they can do? Um, but it really surprised me at first that it came from someone who had a disability, or has a disability, because I always feel like people, sorry for the shaky hand, um, I always feel like, you know, within the disability community we should be supportive, and we should kind of have that common thread of knowing, you know, people are going to doubt us, people are going to judge us, and assume things about us. So when he was assuming things about me, it just kind of kind of blew my mind, because it's like, well, are you being a hypocrite? Like, how can you say things? Because I could say the same things about him, but, so I had to hang up the phone. But that just got me thinking of the broader topic of why do people assume that because you have a disability that you can't do things like go to a concert, um, go to a restaurant, go on trips um, just because you have a disability? Yes, while the trip or the activity may have to be adapted, anyone, they can still go. Um, I think people just have a fear of adapting because they are not sure either how or maybe they don't want to. Um, like going to Vegas, for example. <laughs> That's a lot of people. And it is does kind of scare me. But that's not to say that I never want to go. It's just I don't always want to feel like I have to be watched. Well, specifically by my parents or, you know, if I'm with someone on a trip, you know, I hope they would watch out for me and I would do the same for them. But I just don't necessarily want to feel babied in a way. Like, I understand there's things that you know, would might be dangerous for me to do, and I would decide that they are too dangerous, but I don't like when people don't give me the choice to make that decision of what I can handle. Because um, loud cards are a big thing, and walking is a big thing, but there are ways around, you know, I know Vegas has buses and taxis, and yes, it would be kind of hectic, but as long as I have my friends there to be there with me as long as they care to help me, we can get through it. Um, and it just, I don't know, I just was fuming when he was trying to assume things about me or what I couldn't handle. And he came back with that he was trying to be protective. And I get that. Like, I get trying to be protective because my, my parents can be protective. But at the same time, people... And he, he gets it now, we've talked it through, and we're fine. But I think in general, people, when you say you're trying to be protective, you might be, like, your intention might be that. But then it can also, from my perspective, um, be degrading of, like, well, because I'm disabled, you don't want me to do these things, or it's too hard for you to, like help me do these things. Um, it's just a struggle um, of knowing my, well, other people knowing my limits and myself knowing my limits. Like, if I say that I'm okay, then I'm okay. I'm not going to overdo it just for the sake of doing something. If I really can't handle it, I will stop. Because over the years, I just, I have to take it easy on my body. My body, because of all the extra strain and stress, using the arm crutches and, you know, the extra effort it takes, there is a wear and tear on my body. And I have to be very careful of what I can do or what I should do. Because 
you know, there's a good chance, excuse me, that eventually I will need knee replacements. Or, you know, walking with arm crutches really affects my shoulders and, you know, maybe needing rotator cuff surgery. So far, I don't, but those are things that I potentially have to think about. Um, and, you know, I do think about them pretty regularly, but I don't want my disability to be an excuse to not be asked to do certain activities or, you know, you know, assuming, well, Kyra wouldn't like that. So let's just not invite him or that would be, that'd be too much walking. Let's just not invite him. You know, I will make that decision. Give me the details. Tell me how far I have to walk. And I will say, hey, yes or no. And then we can all have a good time. Or I can be like, yeah, you know, you go ahead without me. And, you know, have a great time. And it's, we're better off, you know, me not doing something. I just hate feeling like I'm not in control of, you know, what I want to do or what. People just like to assume things about me. Um, and that's what really shocked me, that it was even a really close friend that I've known for, well, since I was in seventh grade, who he also battles. Um, he battles with arthritis and other things, but it was just shocking to me that he was telling me what he thought I could do Instead of asking me if I was willing or able to do something. Uh, and thankfully, you know, after I hung up on him, I would cool down. We were able to sit, like, I called him back up and we were able to squash, you know, the argument. And he, after, as we were talking, he was, you know, saying that I assumed... And I, you know, it's like, no, you shouldn't assume anything. Assuming just makes, you know, it makes messy situations. It hurts people's feelings when all they really want is to be heard. Or what, all I really wanted or want in life is to be respected and heard and taken seriously with my opinions and my feelings and thoughts. And just like everyone does, no one wants to ma be to ma made to feel insignificant. Sorry, your itches. Um, but I just, I needed um, to sit down and make a video about it just to kind of cap off my feelings about it so I can move forward because I don't want to keep thinking about it. Um, but I wanted to make a video in case other people were feeling as though people were making assumptions about them and just allowing them to be brushed aside. Because um, assumptions come from everywhere. My, you know, friends, family, even some family. Granted, we're not the closest family, but even family can make certain assumptions and it's like, well, you know, you're my family, you shouldn't make those. But people, it's just natural sometimes. Um, don't have to like it, but that's how, why, how and why, we should debunk assumptions because, you know, then we can create real dialogue and real change um, and people can really start to understand where we're coming from. At least that's what I hope to continue to do. Um, and that's something that I still need to work on is not necessarily being an advocate because when it's someone that I don't know, I'm very, I like to be very direct so we have a clear understanding. When family or friends are involved, it becomes a little hazier because, uh, you know, I'm afraid that, you know, our feelings going to get hurt, you know, uh, and that's just something I worry about. But then I had to focus on myself and what makes me happy, and sometimes that's going to make other people not happy. Um, and this is in no way supposed to be shade um, to any of my family or friends. It's just the general topic of people making assumptions about disability or what's possible with disability. And I just wanted to say that you should never really assume anything about a disability because any 
Even if you know multiple, multiple people with the same disability, they all have different ability levels. And so just never assume anything. Always ask. Ask questions. Asking questions is the best thing that you can do because then you can get answers straight from the person's mouth. And then, you know, creating that open dialogue helps you have a stronger, healthier relationship or a better communication level about needs and wants when it comes to um, dealing with disability, whether it be activities, just in general. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening to me rant. Um, if you could relate to anything I said in this video, please leave a comment down below. Um, I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.